Well guys, got the truck squeezed in the shop here, just had a bunch of snow. Um, a few days ago, I had my first uh, actual breakdown of the year. Uh, it wasn't the, the, the truck that broke down, it was actually uh, the plow quit working. Uh, I'm going to give you the symptoms of what happened. I was plowing. And every once in a while, the, the plow would shut off for a second, and my, my he truck headlights would, would flash on, and then it would uh, you know, go back to work, and, and then I'd have to turn my uh, remote back on, because once the plow shuts off, you gotta turn the remote back on to get it to work. And so um, I had that happen intermittently um, a few times. And I thought what was happening was my plug was coming um, disconnected. My main plug on the plow there. I thought that was coming uh, unhooked. So I didn't really worry about it. I was trying to get a driveway done. Uh, anyway, uh, I had to, two little piles of snow left to, to push a, away and everything, the plow went dead. Uh, it wouldn't come back. It acted like I had unplugged the the plug completely so I jump out of the truck you know thinking I gotta plug the plug back in and uh, we're gonna go on our way well I get to the plug and the plug's still plugged in both of them are still plugged in so kind of wiggle them still nothing happened uh, <clears throat> so I pop the hood look at all my connections everything looks like it's it's good so uh, I Decided to go back to the shop because it's, it's pretty nasty out. So uh, I get back to the shop, start looking around. My first thought is the, the plug in the cab that I have my switch, the, the, the 12 volt power, switched power source to my remote. I thought that was coming unplugged or that came unplugged. So I get under there, look at my fuse box and it's still plugged in, no, no issues there. So I'm scratching my head, looking at my wiring over even more, and I don't really see any, any, any problems anywhere, any broken wires, unplugged wires, checked my fuses under the hood there for the plow, and still nothing. Um, I had an extra um, ISO, box or isolation module I had one of these uh, actually it's it's in dad's old truck and uh, I had one of these I thought you know maybe this has gone bad so I swapped the the, the old one for this one and she started working so the problem was this isolation module apparently has gone bad on me. Uh, I tried unplugging it and plugging it back in thinking a, con a connector had gone bad or something but the old one isn't going to work. This is the bad one. I haven't changed it out. I need to get another one so uh, it doesn't uh, happen again. Uh, they're about 130 bucks. Uh, this one here, the bad one, uh, it's about six years old, six years old. The one I'm running now, uh, that's got to be 10 plus years old. So I'm a little worried that uh, I need to get another one ordered so I don't have a problem. Because once this goes out, uh, there's pretty much no rut in the plow. Um, you're, you're done. Uh, another thing that um, was a problem was getting back to the shop. Now the plow was up in the air, so I was okay with that. Even if it wasn't, I could have drove into a bank. I could have short chained it, I could have got home. Problem with that is the lights were not working. And with this big flared winged plow, my headlights were blocked. So I was pretty much driving blind. I was, I was going slow and everything and I had my lights flashing. So I wasn't, it wasn't a big deal. I wasn't too far away from the shop. If I was a long way from the shop, that would have been a long drive home. So 
I'm thinking about maybe adding an auxiliary set of lights on this thing that are independent from the plow just in case something like that would happen again I could I could actually have some light to see see to get home but yeah that was interesting guys I didn't figure the plow would be the thing to break this year I figured something on the truck would break before that but uh, um, it didn't I got an ISO module box has gone bad like I said this one is uh, around six years old and the one I got in the truck right now that's being used is 10 plus years. I don't really exactly know when I got that one. I got that box when I, I put the new headlights on that straight blade I used to have on the dually. That's when I got that. So I know it was at least 10 years, probably more, 12 years, something like that. So I got to get another one of those guys. It wasn't too bad of a thing. Didn't take me too long to run around and check and figure all this out. Uh, that is the, the good thing when you install your own plow. You know where everything is. You know what you did. You know where the fuses are. You know where your connections are. You can do a quick check. Um, if you don't know where all that stuff is and you just had someone install it and you just pick up your truck, I would have been done. You know, there would be no fixing it. Actually, if I didn't have an extra ISO module, I wouldn't have fixed it either. But luckily, I, I've got two plows. And I was able to do that. I might get a second ISO module box just to have on hand. Because that's not something you're going to find anywhere but a Western dealer. I don't know, it was like 4 or 5 in the morning. You're not going to find anybody open at that time. Even if, if they do have a Western dealer close to you. So, Just figured I'd share that story guys with you. Um, it, uh, like I said, it wasn't too bad of a breakdown. Could have been a lot worse. Anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the little story. Maybe it'll help some people out. I'll see you guys.